Oh, many thanks for watching Still Breakfast Central. Let's uh, go to entertainment this time. And we've got Gabriel Egu. Gabby, morning to you. You've got <coughs> our entertainment plot for today. Now, I love to dance Makosa. You know, mm. they call it the rumba dance. Uh, but one of the biggest artists of that, you know, uh, genre of music in Africa. Well, he's under hot water, isn't he? Yes, yes, yes. And I'll tell you all about that. Uh, of course, Congolese um, rumba star Kofi Olomide um, was accused um, by four of his former dancers of sexual assault and kidnapping, um, you know, a couple of um, years back, has been found guilty at the Court of Appeal in France for holding them against their will at a villa outside Paris. Now, the court found that they had been um, deprived of freedom and were constantly watched by two of Olomide's accomplices. However, the court overturned a two, 2019 ruling that found him guilty of statutory rape of one of the dancers when she was only 15 years old. He was acquitted of um, charges of sexual assault, um, and he was said that um, this was because the court president said that um, there were contradictory statements of the complainant. Now, Olomide was handed a suspended 18-month jail term while his accomplices were both given six months suspended terms under the same conditions. All three men are required to pay 10,000 um, to 30,000 euros as compensation to each of these dancers. The 65-year-old performer based in France committed these crimes between the years um, 2002 and 2006 and has been in trouble with the law at other times for assaulting different people. He had some, at some point been arrested in Zambia and uh, in the DRC he was both arrested and deported you know, in Kenya as well. Um, so this is what's happening. I don't know how you know, some people feel about this. So now he has been charged as guilty of the crimes committed between 2002 and 2006. Mm. It's uh, a sad one. For perhaps me. the ex expensive dance, right? Mm. Mm. Expensive <laughs> dance. Oh, Lisa, what did you say? Expensive what? Expensive, expensive dance. dance. Mm. Uh, the, the cost of the <laughs> dance or the dance that costs. Anyway, I still like rumba <laughs> all the same. All right, what's up next? Okay, Abby? so now straight to Kenya. Hundreds of Kenyans were unknowingly sharing their personal information with a stranger. Now, on Monday, Twitter user claiming to, the, to be the popular musician Yashinsky posted a tweet asking Kenyans to submit their numbers for monetary reward. Over the next few hours, uh, more than 600 people had fallen prey to the fake accounts. They were expecting their bank accounts to be credited by the artist. Later, the real Yashinsky announced that the account was actually fake. The um, musician's real account is the real Shinsky, and it has about 124,000 followers. While the imposter, whose account is named Official Shinsky, had managed to get 20,000 followers by taking advantage of the fact that Daniel Shinsky is rarely on social media. Aside mining people's contacts, the imposter attached an email address for swindling promoters to book him for performances. Yeah, Shinsky urged the social media platform to verify his real account to help his fans make a distinction. Cases of digital identity theft in Kenya have been on the increase. And I think, um, you know, at this point, measures should be in place to keep this from affecting people, especially celebrities, you know, who are usually um, the targets in this case. I so imagine this is a case of stolen identity. Someone is pretending yeah, to be someone else. Stolen identity happens a lot know, to a lot of to, people, whether you're in Kenya or not. I think around the world, as long as you're in the social media space, that you stand a chance of um, experiencing um, theft identity. Yeah, exactly. Identity theft. Exactly. And this is, this is um, taking you to another interesting story, you know, happening in Ghana. Now, Sarkodie's album No Pressure has stopped the list of 10 most streamed albums in Ghana on Spotify, holding the number one position. Now, according to Spotify Rap 2021, the report shows um, how musicians performed on the streaming platform from January to November. Now, we had um, No Pressure taking the number one spot and Kids made in Lagos as the second most streamed album in Ghana on Spotify. We had Justin Bieber's um, album, Justice, at Five Lover Boy by Drake and Kanye West Donda, you know, making the list as third, fourth, and fifth stream, most streamed albums. Burner Boy's Twice a Stall, you know, came in at number eight. We also had A Better Time by David O um, on the list and somewhere between um, Beauty and Magic by Joe Boy. What we see is that along with another Ghanaian artist, we had Kiddy at number nine. And there were only two Ghanaians on the Ghana's most top stream Ghana's top 10 most streamed albums of the year list many refer to Sakode's album as a masterpiece but I think we should take a look at one of the most popular songs from the album you know to see what they're talking about
what we had, you know, was like some behind the scenes of the making of the album, and um, it was, you know, really such a masterpiece, as you know, people have said. Wow. All right. Well, thank you very much, Gary. Uh, Sarkodie this morning on Breakfast Central. Also, mm -hmm. that strange one of identity theft out there via celebrities' uh, handle and tweets uh, in Kenya. And, uh, well, Roomba, uh, Big Makosa, artist mm. himself, Kofiuli Mude, found guilty of uh, sexual assault. Well, it goes, it goes on and on, right, Gabby? But that's why we have you. So mm. always plug us in on what's happening on the entertainment scene. Thanks very much, Gabby. Egu, what the latest when it comes to entertainment? Thank you.